Now it's time to start building a football field chart. Let's select all of the data here that we're going to graph. As I mentioned earlier, there are two different ways to make football field charts. One is with a stacked bar chart, and the other is with a stock chart. We cover the stacked bar chart approach in our PowerPoint and PitchBooks presentation course. And in this course, we're going to use the stock chart. We're going to use open, high, low, and close, and press OK. And you can see that gives us a basic shape immediately of our football field chart. Let's drag it to resize it a bit. And the first thing that we can do is click on this, right click, and select data. So we want to make sure that we have the right labels. The labels that we're going to use are these various different valuation methods here. So we select those labels. Press OK. We can delete the legend. Because we have those labels down at the bottom, we don't need the legend as well. We can also delete the grid lines, because that just cleans things up. Next, we can click on a series and click at the very top center on the line. And you'll notice that you can select this information. And we want to right click on that and click Add Data Labels. Then select the data label, right click it, and we want to format the data labels. We want their position to be above. So now we get this price here. And so let's change it so that the, the number is actually a currency with two decimal places since it's a share price. Now let's do the same thing again at the bottom of the chart. So selecting just that little data point, you want to click Add Data Labels. And then you want to click the data labels, and you want to format those data labels so that their position is below. And then change the number so that it's a currency with two decimal places. Then if you click on the series itself, we can actually do some formatting here. So select the paint can. We want a solid fill. In our case, we will choose CFI Blue or CFI Turquoise or some other color that we think looks good there. Let's maybe try the CFI Turquoise color. We want no line for the border to keep it really clean. And if we click on the outside of the chart, let's also make sure that the chart itself has no fill and no line. Let's give it a title here. Valuation Summary. So continuing on with our formatting, let's select the vertical axis. Right click and format that axis. Let's make the minimum start at 10. Just so it spreads things out a little more. Then let's click the paint can and give it a solid line so that it has a fill. Let's select the color for that line and maybe we want a light gray color. Perhaps even a bit lighter. Doesn't need to be too strong, but that sort of frames up the edge of the chart there. We can do the same with this axis. So click Format Axis and the paint can, solid line, and just select the same color so it's the same on both sides. That's great. To add a little more clarity here to the title, let's add equity value per share in dollars so we know exactly what we're looking at here. And one final finishing touch is to insert a line. So let's go to Insert Shapes, select a line. We'll draw it just off on the side here. And we'll format it here. So let's right click, Format Shape, select the paint can. We want a solid line. We're going to pick a CFI color. We're going to pick our CFI orange. Increase the weighting a bit. Change it to have a dash type. And then we can drag and drop it to represent several different things. It could represent the current share price if the company is publicly traded. It could represent an offer price that we're recommending for an M&A transaction. It could represent a target price for an equity research report. It could represent all sorts of different things. But whatever you want to label it as, it's very helpful to have a line like this indicating the key takeaway. And we can see then if, say, this is the current share price of the business, that there is more upside than downside for the current share price based on our valuation analysis. 
particularly within the comp space, we see room for the share price to rise relative to competitors. And based on our DCF analysis, we also see, particularly in the blue sky model, a lot of upside relative to the current price. So the football field chart is a great way of visually representing and summarizing all of our valuation analysis.